double rainbow here in Yap after the rains. Ooh, look at that. First we trim the block with the, uh, the saw on the bottom and the side. It quickly helps us get a good fit. Once you have a good fit, the block almost sits up there by itself, at least on this row. And the higher up we go, the harder it is for the blocks to set them in place. And then we uh, mud the block. And at this level, we have to start putting the counterweights on to counterweight the pull. The blocks want to fall inward. Something else we also do is we put in a very long, it's about three and a half inch long screw at an angle to go between this block and join up with the next one. In the Dongia videos, they put a piece of tin or something and they, they pound it in there, but I'm afraid that, that uh, it would just break these, break these apart. When you put a screw in there, it, it attaches the two pretty good. And uh, then later on, as tomorrow, as the blocks get hard, we can go and uh, either unscrew or pull that, that screw out, as well as this screw right here. But we're getting up pretty high now, so it's getting a little bit more of a challenge, and we have to go a little bit slower as we put our blocks up. And here's some that we made the other day, and we're putting them in place. So I've sanded and rough sanded and rough sanded uh, the, the edge of the dome. I filled in some of the air creep blocks that were uh, got some big holes in them. And uh, the first step after that is to go ahead and kind of uh, air creep the wall with some foamed concrete so you can uh, do a little more sanding uh, to get it just a little bit smoother in preparation for the uh, the uh, fabric screening that's that's going on here for structural strength so I'm getting ready to do this wall here uh, next today with the uh, fabric screening that we have here in Ireland I'm using for the for this purpose for strengthening this wall I've got one more section to go here uh, this wall over here is completed and uh, all the way around and it it makes it into a pretty solid uh, individual piece when you put the fabric on there as we go around. And uh, the higher up we go, uh, we'll continue to, to sand. And the blocks. That's right. Continue to uh, sand this and uh, put screening on it. My intention is to sand this inside wall 
also and put some screening in uh, uh, with the uh, with the mortar uh, at least up up to a certain level uh, and see how easy that is if it's easy I'd like to do the whole inside also so I get a sandwich of the inside and the outside wall between the uh, screening uh, reinforcement all right we have our uh, foam generator and our our little um, air tank there uh, this thing still works pretty good turn it on and we get lots and lots of foam and it's just like uh, just like a shaving cream that comes out of that as we're mixing it so that continues to work well our electric mixer has died on us so it's very difficult to mix a huge drum like this full of uh, cement and aircrete so what we're doing is we're doing uh, one one of these every day uh, one of these setups of aircrete blocks and we did this yesterday so we'll make blocks out of this uh, this will get us uh, roughly uh, uh, 32 blocks to use up on the dome so that's what we're doing one of these every day the other one we're not using because it's too difficult for the mixing the uh, the cement really takes a toll on my hands on the tips I'm getting these sores uh, in between my fingers I'm getting sores and all and here in the tropics I'm trying to keep from getting uh, my hands from getting uh, infected but working with the cement is a real challenge the aircrete blocks are very uh, they really do a number on they don't just take the skin right off your fingers and even though you're wearing um, even though you're wearing gloves it's like the cement gets everywhere and uh, gets inside your gloves and uh, then that causes problems as well so if you're working with aircrete and cement even though you're wearing gloves and all still be careful